Josh Barrick was senior vice president of Old National's commercial real estate division. He was also a father of two and husband to his wife, Jessica, for 11 years. She sat down with WLKY's Alexis Matthews to talk about how one year ago her life was forever changed. I mean, he was goofy and just the best. Let me look at that. <laughs> Jessica Barrick but smiles, remembering her silly but sensitive husband, I mean, her protector, really her soulmate, so Josh. Josh is like everybody that I've met, even people I didn't know, have a story. Everyone's got a Josh story, and I, I love hearing the stories because it's things I didn't know. and. Josh and Jessica's story began in 2011 when they met at a bar. A year later, they were married, then had two kids. It was your traditional love story until April 10th, 2023, when Jessica unexpectedly went from wife to widow. And things you take for granted, it's just, like I said, I wish I could just have one more hug that morning. I would just regret that so much. It started as a typical Monday for the barracks. Jessica took the kids to school. Josh got ready for work, and they talked on the phone as he drove to his downtown Louisville office at Old National Bank. I talked to him, you know, right up, and it was about like 15, 20 minutes later when it happened. It was just he was here, and then he wasn't, and that's so hard to wrap your head around. You can be on the phone with him, and then he's just gone the next minute. Around 8.30 that morning, a bank employee entered the building with an assault rifle and began shooting, killing five people, including Josh. I just called and texted and called, and it was just silence. That silence grew loud enough for Jessica to realize Josh had likely taken his last breath inside Old National Bank. Her worst fear was confirmed when she joined other victims' families at the hospital. Eventually, the police came in and gave us a form to fill out to like ask what he had been wearing that morning. And I, I mean, I pretty much knew at that point that he was gone. Um, and then they told us shortly after. The next hardest thing she had to do, tell their little ones, Daddy was not coming home and to watch pieces of their innocence and childhood just go in that moment. Everything changed for us. Who we are, the three of us, changed that day. One year later, Jessica says she's strong because she has to be. Right now, that's what's getting me through is just taking care of my kids and making sure I'm doing everything for them. And if they're good, I'm good. They're all trying to heal, navigate the ups and downs of grief, and keep Josh's memory alive. It's little acts like this tray the kids fill with handwritten letters to their dad. Just, it says notes for daddy, and they'll just put little stuffed animals there sometimes, or just little notes like, I miss you, or explaining something that happened at school. And Jessica has one of Josh's favorite quotes by Kobe Bryant tattooed on her forearm. Smile and just keep on rolling. She says he would want them to do just that, though they'll never be able to fill the void in their home or their hearts. And we miss him every single day, and we always will, no matter if it's a year or 20.